Shakespeare put it like this, all things be ready if our minds be so. Simple as these words are, they are spot on. They are powerfully accurate. So let me restate the principle he was describing. We can change and improve anything we want if we first get our mindset right. This means we can change our marriage, our health, our finances, really everything. But the prerequisite is to first change your thinking. This is where it gets tricky. First change your mind, first improve your mindset, and to paraphrase what Shakespeare spelled out for us, we can experience the life we want, but we have to first prepare our mind for that life. All things will become ready for you to enjoy after you change your mind and make your mind ready. Think about it. You change your mind all the time about silly stuff like what to eat for dinner or what clothes to wear to the party or even where you're going on vacation. But those things don't matter very much. Those kinds of changes don't move the needle and create the kind of breakthrough or quantum leap that you would really get excited about and that would fill your days with enthusiasm. In fact, those superficial changes won't hardly be remembered 30 days after you make them. But you can make meaningful changes if you are willing to change how you think about the key people, the key priorities, and the key problems, and the key opportunities that fill your life. Maybe that sounds easy, but it is not easy to change how you think. That's why so few people, without the prompt of a significant emotional event, ever make a meaningful change to the quality and the trajectory of their life. Simple, yes. Easy, not so much. The reason it's not easy is that most people are oblivious to their habitual mode of thinking. They don't pay very much attention to what they are currently thinking or what they've been thinking recently. This causes a disconnect between the thoughts they're thinking and the life they're living. They don't associate the quality of their thoughts with the quality of their life. It's almost as if their thoughts are over here and their life is over there and they have nothing to do with one another. The connection remains a mystery to most people. But as a coach for more than three decades, I've observed that all lasting change is preceded by changed thinking. Any other type of change will only be temporary. All things be ready if our minds be so. Hard to improve on that one. This is Tommy Newberry because Bill was right. Mindset makes all the difference.